This is a look. Oh my god, did I just start a trend? Do you ever feel like you need to preserve all of your friendships? Like you'll meet people and you're like, these people are wonderful and they are positive uh, influences in my life. And then suddenly you feel this like compulsion that you're not in the right place and you don't really know how to communicate it. And you're obviously <coughs> going through some things on your own that you don't really understand, but your life is so chaotic and everybody's so busy that it's like, how do you even bring this up? So then you sort of slowly become reclusive and don't share your feelings. And then time passes and you still see these people and you feel real like this immense sense of guilt that you didn't give them closure. You didn't give yourself closure. You didn't even fully investigate these feelings. And then you're always in this like weird limbo of every time you see them, you're like, should I, should I bring it up? And then more and more time passes and, and you are like, have they forgotten? Has too much time passed? Does it even matter? Like, am I even wrong? Did I do anything wrong? Because nobody says anything, right? Like when everybody's like polite or, you know, doesn't, not everything has to be confrontational, but some things, like I was probably as confused as these people were when I, you know, suddenly stopped hanging out with them. I wasn't me. I mean, last year was kind of a mess for me. I was going through a lot. I'm still going through a lot. Who isn't going through a lot? But I kind of, I felt like I needed to escape and I still love those people. And I'm meeting one of the girls. And she, you know, whenever her or the other girl are around, I try to be as nice as possible, but it's one of those things where I'm like getting ready to go coffee and I don't even really know, like I'm just gonna be fully transparent and, and you know, sort of try my best to explain a situation that was fueled by a lot of like anxiety and um, like fear and I don't even fully understand what happened. It just, I felt like I was running, like I, I felt overwhelmed by um, by the situation. The people are wonderful. It's like, I don't even, I can't even exactly pinpoint what the issue was, but I ended up switching friend groups and I never really gave them these two girls, which I think are still wonderful. I never gave them the closure that I think they probably deserved or um, anything. Cause I don't even think I, even to this day, I don't fully understand. It's just maybe a compatibility issue and it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them or me, um, but I definitely think I could have handled it better. And um, I keep having this thing of like, you should text them and I do, I've been trying to reach out, but it never, like we're all really busy with school and stuff, but um, yeah. Like, I guess the conclusion of this is like, pe humans are weird and um, I think a lot of people would kind of just sweep it under the rug. I, <clears throat> I feel like I have to say something. So at the very least, I can feel like I gave them the respect that they deserve. And if they, you know, and maybe give them a chance to explain themselves. And if it's, you know, something they don't want to talk about, that's fine. I'm doing it hopefully one at a time. The one girl I see more and it comes to talk to my other friend group more. Um, but it's just weird. I have a hard time like wrapping my own head around it since then everybody's moved on and like, you know, they found a like a much bigger inner circle and I'm super happy for them. And they're, like I said, they're they're great. Like I, they, there was nothing really wrong. I just, I felt overwhelmed and I ended up finding another set of girls and I didn't feel that way. And it's, it has nothing to do with the original girls but anyway i'm meeting up with one of them i don't know if any of this made sense it's just it'd be interesting to see if anybody relates and like is it you know how did you deal with it and maybe hearing some of your reasons why if you did find clarity but anyway hopefully this coffee date goes well okay i'm running late so please excuse the mess but i went for like a leather leather moment um i'm wearing these high-waisted sort of um, yeah, wider leg leather pants um, from Mango. I'm wearing an Aritzia leather jacket or jacket, I guess, from Aritzia. Um, I'm wearing like the racer back 
white top from also Aritzia. Uh, my shoes are Air Forces, my socks are Air Forces, and I didn't do my hair because I ran out of time, and let's go. Okay, you caught me. Okay, once again, I have to resort to the bootleggery that is that is using my iPad to record because once again, my phone ran out. Anyways, the song of depression shopping continues. So, in case you're wondering, the coffee date went well, and it turns out I was overthinking like the whole thing. That's just tradition. Um, so, yeah. Please forgive the mess in the background, but okay, we're gonna start with maybe not. So I got some stuff from Calvin Klein, but maybe for my eyes only. Okay, well, that is for my eyes only. Um, yeah, but this is the gap, and I feel like the gap does not get a good rep. Like, I think that I actually have some pretty nice. Stuff, and they had like a 50% on like everything here. You know, hopefully it just like exposed my address there. Okay, so I think this is a squared neck shirt that I got. Um, these, I kind of, oh, or not. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I, this might be a dress I got for Chris. It's so cute. Okay, so I got two dresses for Christmas because all my dresses are 100 years old. Okay, so I love, you know, I respect when they like do an even bow. Um, <laughs> such like a my new point, but look how beautiful this bow is. Okay, so it is a really simple, like flowy, um, I guess halter is probably the right word, um, dress. And I got it in red and it's, the material is kind of hard to explain. It's sort of like pseudo silky, um, but yeah, love. Um, I'll do a try on, maybe. I will do a try on, I will not do a try on. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I kind of need to clean my house. But yeah, so cute. I think, Lana, I think this is a green one. Yeah, I got a green as well. And honestly, I've been trying to get like more jewel tones into my wardrobe. Oh, it's beautiful. So, same dress in green. That would be so fun for Christmas with like a hair pulled back and a high ponytail or like curled hair. So, that. And then I got two ooh, more ivory than I want. So, I mean, this is more white, but it's so it's just like a basic piece. I think, yeah. I think it's also too big. Yeah, I think this is, you know when you just like open something and you're like, this is a return? Also try it on. Model, um, she made it look, like it looked a lot thicker, but this is very thin, like it's almost, I don't know if it's picking up, it's almost trans translucent. So not really what I was looking for. So I'm gonna put that in the return. I hate being that person. Like, I don't buy things with the intention of, like, yes, yeah, it's gonna return it. It's like, you really don't know until you get it. And so, yeah, I, I also got it in black, but I think same sort of thing. I also don't love the ribbing. And also, I just think it's. I don't know. I don't love it, but I'll try them. This is the big daddy, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. So, this is a leather trench coat. So I saw this on Aritzia and it was like a million dollars as it is. I was like, not happening. So then I forgot about it and then I saw it on, yeah. And it was like a third of the price. So I was like, okay, we'll try it. But it looks kind of big. 
So, so from one leather jacket to another. So I'm gonna try this on real quick so it doesn't entail me taking all my clothes off. And we will see. It feels nice. jacket for sure I'm just maybe I can like this is does anybody else get this lazy with trying things on okay I'm gonna wear this over my shirt this is a look this is a look oh my god did I just start a trend oh my god imagine if I were like did I just start a trend this is it's kind of giving is it maybe Wait, I kind of like this. Oh my god, what have I done? Me trying to convince myself to keep something I don't need. It's kind of giving. Like it's supposed to be like this, but I think I like it. I mean, okay, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. No, no, we are trying to save money. I'm not keeping this. I have enough basic staples. We're giving this and this back because we don't need it. Some other incredible soul will love this. Now while I gloss over money that I shouldn't have spent on underwear and clothing is done, I need to clean up my place because I'm leaving home for the weekend tomorrow morning and I will probably not have time in the morning. Hope you enjoyed this, this drive-by. Paul.